Do a quick video to show you these universal seat mounts that you may buy from us or others. They come in a sort of kit form. So this is the slider rails that you'd fit underneath some bucket seats when you're bolting them to your car to give you some adjustment. So let's just have a quick look. I'm going to pass the camera to Kate. So you've got, you've got these two slider rails and a lift bar for lifting the, the adjuster. So what have we got here? So you've got a series in the, the rail that we would bolt down to the floor. You've got four bolt fitting positions there. And on the one that you would bolt up to the seat, you've got these positions here. Um, the lift bar fits in. You've got these little holes at the side. And it, it goes this direction. So the, um, you've got these tapered pins. We'll put them in a vise in a minute. And, and they're just crimped together so you've got no bolts um, and we'll show you how that goes and then when you lift the bar it releases the slider mechanism and it can come out obviously you need to be careful when you're assembling because you need to make sure you um, the order of which you assemble it you, you really need to slide the rail to expose the bolts into the seats and we'll show you how to do that it might be easy to put it all together so in fact on, let's, let's go and grab the voice well, we got an empty voice in the workshop. Oh my goodness me, we got the hot melt gun on. Right then. Oh. I'm not going to need four hands for this, let's have a look. Okay. So line the two pins up so they've just started on the hole. Right, I've got it. Okay, and then just squidge it in in the squeeze that technical enough. Squeeze it in the vise so they're a press fit. That will stay on there now. That'll take some getting off. Right, I'll do the other one on and then we'll give you a demonstration of the whole so thing. So we put it all together now and we're going to demonstrate how the slider went. So I'm using a tape measure to emulate the pushing down. So here we go. So, it, so that sort of emulates by lifting up the bar. And then you've got these here that slide out. So you can see that if you slide these out, you can bolt the seat in better. And you can see here... There's quite a large number of every sort of like five or ten millimetres, you've got a little notch that gives you a locking position. And when you release the bar, it locks in. So that's basically the, um, the assembly we've got there. And obviously, when you slide it out, you can get to the, the there to bolt the seat into it. And there's quite a good clearance, if you look down there, Kate, so that you can put a reasonably sized bolt head in there and it, and it won't catch on the runner as the runner goes back.